Hello everyone. So let us solve one more problem from lead code. The problem name is plus one. So the problem goes like this, that you're given a large integer represented as an integer array digits, where each digit i is the ith digit to the integer. Now the digits are ordered from the most significant to the least significant from the left to the right order. We'll understand more when we go down to the inputs. And the large integer does not contain any leading zeros. Increment the number integer by one and return the resulting array of digits. So let us take the same example, go to the inputs. As you can see that you're given a number actually in a form of an array that is one, 123 as you can see. So 123 is a number you're given as an array and you have to add one to it. So the answer is 124. <laughs> so you might be thinking that what is the actual problem? Like this is very simple, just adding one to it, but hold on. This is not a complete number, I suppose. You got the thing. This is not a complete number. This is the number represented in the array form. That is 123. So you have to print out the answer such that you have to print out the thinking that it is an actual complete number and just adding one to it. What I mean by this is that, let's say that for this 123, the answer will become 124. For 4,321, if you just add one to it, it will become 4,222. Nothing more complicated. But if you just take, let's say 99, if you add one to it, one number will be carry on and it will go out of bound. And then you have to append it in the start, like all together, uh, all new. As you can see that it is nine. So one is added, it will become one zero. So a new array will be formed such that one is appended there. So this is the whole thing. I will show you the actual, uh, what you can do here is that you are given some array as you can see that is let's say 120, 1, 2, 3, 9. What you can do is that if you just add one to it, what you just have to keep in mind is what is the carry to the next number. So you can just assume that how you actually add numbers. That is the whole thing. You, if you just take 123, if you add one to it, what you'll do? Or let's say that if you have 129, if you just add one to it, what you'll do? You just add both of them. It will become one carries there. So you have to keep in track. What is the carry number? And then it will become three and this will become one. So this is 130. So if you just add one to it, then it will become zero and you have to carry one thing. So you can just take some number that is carry. Okay. And then what you can do is let's say the number is one, two, nine, nine. If you add one to it, what will happen is that the carry is zero. Then you add one to it, it will become. So what you will do, the number will become 10. Now, what is the number that will be put in here? It is 10 more 10. As you can see, it becomes zero. So zero is put in here. And 10 divided by 10 is a number that is taken to the carry that is equal to one. So one is added to the carry number. So as you can see, that is the same thing. If you have 10, one is taken as the carry. One means that 10 divided by 10, that is equal to one. And what is in the remainder? 10 mod 10 is in the remainder. That is zero. So if you take this, this is the carry. Now the next number, then the next digit actually is the digit. So the number that will be placed here for this digit is actually the digit plus the carry. Okay. So nine plus the carry. So nine plus the carry that is equal to 10 again. So the number here will be zero and the number passed on is one. Again, the number plus carry. So two plus one. So it will become three. So you will do the same thing for every digit actually. What is here? So you will place here the modulus value and carry the dividing value. So 10 mod like three mod 10 will become three only. So this is why three is there. And the carry is three divided by 10, that is zero, which means that there is nothing to be carried upon. And then as you can see that this is one plus zero as a carry, it is only one. The own, only thing that will become complicated is if there are multiple lines only. So if you just add one thing, it will become zero, zero, and then a one will be added as an extra appended one. So because the array size is fixed, you can either make a new complete array and just put one at the end and all the zeros. Or as the other thing is that uh, what you can do it is that if you have a vector, you can see that if you have a vector of size, let's say three, you can only append a box in the vector at the end, a block at the end, not in the start. So what you can do is that if you have, let's say, if you want to, let's say, make a number that is one zero zero and you have only three digits, you can first append a block in the end. And then like you can do that, shift all the numbers by one position or actually just fill all of them by zero and then put the one number. You can also do that. Whatever, whatever you like, you can just push all the numbers to the left because you actually want one in the start. That is the whole thing. 
Nothing more complicated. I'll take you down to the code part. It will make it more clear. But this is a very simple number. You just have to assume that the number itself is in the form of an array. And how you do actually the uh, summation of the numbers. So this is a carry. Initially, I marked my carry as one because carry means that I have to add that to the particular digit. Then what I'll do here is that I iterate from back to front because that is how we are doing this. So the number is actually the digit, the ith digit plus the carry number. Now the ith digit will become nums of nums actually the that is like by adding the ith digit to the carry number. So I will actually mod it with 10. That is the number that will come to the ith position as well as the carry will be the nums divided by 10. And it will, I will be doing this for all the numbers. In the end, if after doing that, my carry is still greater than zero, which means that it can happen that my carry in the end is one again. So it is 99. I first one to the first number, carry will be one. I again add one to the next number, carry will be one. So I added zero, zero, but there's one more carry that is left. So in that case, what I'll do is that I will push back a zero in the end. I, and what I can do is I can like, uh, like shift all the numbers by one position to the left. That is what I'm doing. And in the end, I will add the carry to the start. That is what I've done here. And just printing out that. That is the overall solution for this problem. Nothing more complicated. Uh, what I've done here is that in the end, just shift out all the digits by one because I want to append the carry in the start. And because the size of the vector is fixed, I append it at the end, shift all the digits by one, and then up, like added the carry in the start. Because that is how you can do that. Just the brute force way, nothing more complicated. I hope you get the solution as well as the code for this problem. The solution and the code will be in the description of this video. So don't worry. I will see you in the next one. And thank you for watching this video till the end. I will see you in the next one. Till then keep coding and bye.